Introduction, the ever-changing landscape of modern technology. In the not-so-distant past, the world was a simpler place. Communication meant face-to-face -face conversations or handwritten letters, research required dusty library visits, and navigation relied on paper maps. But today, we find ourselves in an era where technology has woven itself into the very fabric of our daily lives, transforming the way we interact, work, learn, and play. As we step into this digital age, it's impossible to ignore the profound impact technology has had on society, and the ever-evolving landscape it continues to shape. The rapid and relentless march of technology has ushered in an era of unprecedented connectivity and convenience. The advent of the internet, smartphones, and social media has connected people across continents and cultures, creating a global village where information flows freely and instantly. Digitalization has streamlined industries, from healthcare to finance bringing about efficiencies and innovations that were once unimaginable. The very essence of human experience has been redefined by the advent of artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and the Internet of Things, blurring the lines between science fiction and reality. But this remarkable journey into the digital realm has not been without its challenges and complexities. Alongside the benefits, we grapple with the consequences of our digital dependency. Privacy concerns loom large as we willingly share vast amounts of personal data, often without fully understanding the implications. Cybersecurity threats have become a daily reality, with individuals and organizations constantly under siege from online adversaries. The digital divide threatens to exacerbate existing inequalities, as access to technology remains unevenly distributed around the globe. As we stand at this crossroads of technological advancement, it is crucial to navigate the digital landscape with both optimism and caution. We must harness the power of technology to address global challenges, from climate change to healthcare while safeguarding our values and individual rights. We must also equip ourselves with the knowledge and critical thinking skills needed to thrive in a world where information overload and misinformation run rampant. This journey into the multifaceted world of technology is not a solitary one. It is a collective endeavor that requires us to explore, adapt, and innovate together. In the following chapters, we will delve into the various aspects of this ever-changing technological landscape, examining its impact on our lives, the ethical dilemmas it presents, and the exciting possibilities it holds for the future. Together, we will embark on a journey to understand, appreciate, and navigate the digital age in all its complexity and wonder. Chapter 1 a man and Alzheimer's. Once upon a time, there was a man named John. He lived in a cozy house nestled on a quiet street in a small, close-knit community. John had always been known for his warm smile, his willingness to lend a helping hand, and his boundless love for his family. As the years passed, John's hair turned silver and his once strong frame began to show the gentle wear and tear of time. He continued to live a fulfilling life, spending time with his grandchildren, tending to his beloved garden, and sharing stories from his rich past with anyone who cared to listen. But as he grew older, something began to change within John, a transformation that was subtle at first but became increasingly evident to those who knew him well. It was the onset of a condition known as Alzheimer's disease. At first, John's family noticed small lapses in his memory. 
He would occasionally forget where he had placed his reading glasses or misplace his keys. These minor incidents were brushed off as signs of aging, a natural part of life's progression. However, over time, the forgetfulness grew more pronounced. John would forget appointments, birthdays, and the names of friends he had known for decades. Sometimes, he'd recount the same story several times within the span of an hour, his eyes reflecting a hint of confusion as he struggled to piece together the fragments of his memories. These were the early symptoms of Alzheimer's disease, a condition that would gradually cast a shadow over his life and the lives of those who loved him. The impact of Alzheimer's went far beyond forgetfulness. It began to affect John's daily routines. He'd become disoriented in familiar places, unable to recognize the layout of his own home. Simple tasks like cooking a meal or managing his finances became daunting challenges. The man who had once been so independent and self-reliant found himself increasingly reliant on the support of his family. As John's world became progressively fragmented by the relentless grip of Alzheimer's, his family embarked on a journey they hadn't anticipated. They learned to adapt, to provide him with the care and love he needed, and to cherish the moments when glimpses of the old John would shine through the fog of forgetfulness. Chapter 1 is just the beginning of a poignant tale that explores the impact of Alzheimer's disease on John and his loved ones. It is a story of resilience, love, and the enduring bonds of family in the face of an unpredictable and challenging journey. Chapter 2, Age and Alzheimer's Alzheimer's disease, like the chapters of John's life, unfolds gradually its story intertwined with the passage of time. In this chapter, we delve deeper into the relationship between age and Alzheimer's, seeking to understand when and how this condition often makes its entrance into a person's life. Alzheimer's disease is most commonly associated with aging. As we mentioned earlier, it typically manifests in individuals who are 65 years or older. However, it's important to note that Alzheimer's is not a normal part of aging. Growing older does not guarantee that one will develop this condition, but age does increase the risk. The precise reasons behind the age-related vulnerability to Alzheimer's are still the subject of ongoing research. It appears that as our bodies age, the brain undergoes various changes that may make it more susceptible to the abnormal protein deposits and nerve cell damage associated with Alzheimer's. These changes can occur over many years before noticeable symptoms surface. Although Alzheimer's predominantly affects older individuals, it can also strike at a younger age, although this is less common. In some cases, known as early-onset Alzheimer's, symptoms may emerge in a person's 40s or 50s. This form of the disease often has a stronger genetic component, meaning that it can run in families. Understanding the relationship between age and Alzheimer's is not only important for those who may be at risk, but also for society as a whole. As the global population ages, the prevalence of Alzheimer's is expected to rise significantly, leading to increased healthcare costs and a growing need for support and care services. In Chapter 2, we explore the challenges and complexities of Alzheimer's disease as it relates to age, shedding light on the critical role that early diagnosis and interventions play in improving the quality of life for those affected by this condition. As we continue to unravel the narrative of John's journey with Alzheimer's, 
we invite you to join us in this exploration of the profound impact of age on the onset and progression of this complex disease. Chapter 3 Recognizing the Signs As the pages of John's life story turned, the subtle shifts in his behavior and memory became increasingly pronounced, prompting his family to embark on a journey of understanding and concern. This chapter takes a closer look at the signs and symptoms of Alzheimer's disease that became impossible for John's loved ones to ignore. 1. Memory loss. Memory is the cornerstone of our identity, holding the threads of our past and present together. For John, this foundational aspect of his life began to unravel slowly. He would forget recent events, important dates, and even the names of family members. It was as if his memory, once a reliable companion, had started to play tricks on him. 2. Repetition Repetition became a frequent visitor in John's conversations. He would tell the same story, share the same anecdote, or ask the same question multiple times within a short span. The repetition was like an echo, a persistent reminder of the growing puzzle within his mind. 3. Disorientation. Familiar places, once navigated with ease, started to become confusing and disorienting for John. He'd lose his way in his own neighborhood, struggle to recognize his own home, or wonder why he was in a particular place at all. The world around him became a shifting labyrinth of uncertainty. 4. Temporal confusion. Time itself began to slip through John's fingers. He'd lose track of days, weeks, and seasons. He might wake up one morning believing it was still yesterday, or he'd become convinced that it was a holiday when it was a regular weekday. Time, which had once been a reliable constant, became a fluid concept for him. These are indeed common symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. They are often referred to as cognitive or memory-related symptoms and are among the earliest indicators of the condition. They arise from the progressive damage to brain cells and the accumulation of abnormal proteins in the brain, disrupting the normal functioning of memory and thinking. Recognizing these signs in a loved one can be both heartbreaking and bewildering. For John's family, it marked the beginning of a journey into uncharted territory. They would soon discover that Alzheimer's is a complex condition, affecting not only memory but also behavior, emotions, and the ability to carry out everyday tasks. Chapter 3 is a glimpse into their initial moments of realization, as they grappled with the evolving story of Alzheimer's that was reshaping John's life and their own. Chapter 4, Preventing Alzheimer's In the intricate tapestry of John's journey with Alzheimer's disease, his family began to search for answers beyond the symptoms and diagnosis. They turned their attention to understanding what could be done to reduce the risk of Alzheimer's not just for John, but for themselves and future generations. Chapter 4 delves into the proactive steps they explored in the quest to prevent Alzheimer's. 1. Eating a healthy diet. John's family soon learned that what they put on their plates could play a vital role in brain health. They discovered that a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins is not only good for the body but also for the brain. They explored the Mediterranean diet, which emphasizes these elements and includes healthy fats like olive oil and nuts. Research suggested that such a diet might reduce the risk of Alzheimer's. 2. 
staying physically active, exercise emerged as another key player in the battle against Alzheimer's. Regular physical activity was found to improve blood flow to the brain, promote the growth of new brain cells, and reduce the risk of chronic conditions like heart disease and diabetes, which are associated with a higher risk of Alzheimer's. 3. Mental Stimulation John's family realized that keeping the mind active was essential. They encouraged activities such as reading, puzzles, learning a new language, or engaging in hobbies that challenged the brain. Mental stimulation was like exercise for the mind, helping to maintain cognitive function. 4. Maintaining social connections, the importance of social connections became evident as well. John's family recognized that loneliness and social isolation could contribute to cognitive decline. They encouraged John to stay connected with friends and family, participate in community events, and engage in conversations that stimulated his mind and nurtured his sense of belonging. 5. Quality sleep. Sleep, they found, played a vital role in brain health. They learned about the connection between poor sleep and cognitive problems. Establishing a regular sleep schedule and creating a sleep-conducive environment became priorities. It's important to note that while these lifestyle choices may help reduce the risk of Alzheimer's, there is no guaranteed prevention. Genetics, age, and other factors also play a role. However, Adopting a brain-healthy lifestyle can contribute to overall well-being and may lower the risk or delay the onset of the disease. As John's family ventured into this chapter of their journey, they discovered that prevention was not only about safeguarding against Alzheimer's but also about living a more vibrant, fulfilling life in the present. It was about cherishing the moments they had together, savoring the joys of good health, and embracing the power they held to shape their own futures. In Chapter 4, they explored these pathways to prevention, hoping to light the way for others on their own journeys. Chapter 5, Caring for John As John's journey with Alzheimer's continued, his family embarked on a deeply compassionate and challenging chapter of their own, the chapter of caregiving. In chapter 5, we delve into the profound commitment and love that guided them as they cared for John during the progression of his condition. Creating a safe haven, John's family recognized the importance of creating a safe and comfortable environment for him. They made adjustments to their home, removing potential hazards, and ensuring that John could move around safely. This included installing handrails, securing rugs, and placing familiar objects in easy-to-reach locations to provide a sense of familiarity and security. Medication Management Alzheimer's often requires medications to manage symptoms and slow down the progression of the disease. John's family took on the responsibility of ensuring he took his medications as prescribed, keeping a meticulous schedule to maintain consistency. They communicated regularly with healthcare providers to monitor his medication regimen and adjust it as needed. Stimulating activities, to nourish John's cognitive health, his family introduced activities that stimulated his mind. They engaged in puzzles, reminiscence therapy, and music, as these often provided moments of joy and connection. They discovered that music, in particular, had a remarkable ability to evoke memories and emotions. Emotional support, providing care for a loved one with Alzheimer's can be emotionally taxing. John's family learned the importance of seeking emotional support for themselves and each other. 
They joined support groups, connected with other caregivers who understood their challenges, and sought guidance from healthcare professionals to navigate the complexities of the disease. Quality of life, John's family made it their mission to ensure that his life remained as rich and fulfilling as possible. They celebrated his achievements, no matter how small, and focused on moments of connection and joy rather than dwelling on the challenges Alzheimer's presented. They aimed to preserve his dignity and sense of self throughout his journey. Respite care, recognizing the importance of self-care for themselves, John's family explored respite care options. This allowed them to take short breaks, recharge, and tend to their own well-being, knowing that caring for a loved one with Alzheimer's is a marathon, not a sprint. Chapter 5 is a testament to the unwavering dedication of caregivers like John's family who navigate the complexities of Alzheimer's disease. It sheds light on the sacrifices, the moments of triumph, and the profound love that fuels their journey. It also serves as a reminder that in the face of such challenges, families can find strength and resilience, and the bonds of love can shine even brighter. Chapter 6. Treating Alzheimer's In the ongoing narrative of John's journey with Alzheimer's disease, Chapter 6 explores the crucial role of treatments and therapies in managing the condition. While a cure remains elusive, there are valuable options available that aim to enhance John's quality of life and provide support to both him and his family. 1. Medications John's healthcare team introduced him to medications designed to address specific symptoms of Alzheimer's. These medications include cholinesterase inhibitors like Donepal, Rivastigmine, and Galantamine, which work to boost communication between nerve cells and improve memory and thinking. Another class of drugs, NMDA receptor antagonists like memantine helps regulate glutamate, a chemical messenger that can become overactive in the brains of individuals with Alzheimer's. 2. Behavioral Therapies John's family discovered that behavioral therapies could be valuable tools in managing his condition. These therapies focus on helping individuals with Alzheimer's cope with their symptoms, reduce agitation, and enhance their overall well-being. Techniques like reality orientation therapy and reminiscence therapy can help individuals feel more grounded and connected to their surroundings and memories. 3. Cognitive Rehabilitation Cognitive rehabilitation programs were also explored as part of John's treatment plan. These programs are designed to help individuals with Alzheimer's improve their cognitive function through exercises and activities that challenge their memory, problem-solving skills, and attention. 4. Lifestyle Interventions John's family continued to prioritize lifestyle factors as a key component of his treatment. They encouraged him to maintain a healthy diet, stay physically active, and engage in mentally stimulating activities to support his brain health. These lifestyle interventions were complemented by medication and therapy. 5. Supportive Care as Alzheimer's is a progressive and irreversible condition, John's family was mindful of the importance of supportive care. They worked closely with healthcare professionals to anticipate and address the changing needs that would arise as the disease continued to advance. This included planning for eventual long-term care options and ensuring that John's quality of life remained a central focus.
clinical trials, John's family was also open to the possibility of participating in clinical trials for Alzheimer's treatments. Clinical research is ongoing, and these trials provide opportunities to test experimental therapies that may one day lead to breakthroughs in the treatment of Alzheimer's. Chapter 6 is a testament to the resilience of individuals like John and the unwavering commitment of their families in the face of a challenging journey with Alzheimer's disease. It underscores the importance of a multidisciplinary approach to treatment, combining medications, therapies, and lifestyle interventions to provide the best possible care and support for those affected by this complex condition. Chapter 7, Supporting Each Other In the heart of John's story, the realization dawned upon his family that Alzheimer's disease is not a battle to be fought alone. This chapter dives into their journey of seeking and providing support, a journey that illuminated the importance of solidarity and understanding for both the person with Alzheimer's and their loved ones. Joining support groups, John's family recognized that they were not alone in their struggle. They sought solace and guidance by joining Alzheimer's support groups. These groups provided a safe space to share their experiences, fears, and triumphs with others who were on similar journeys. Connecting with people facing similar challenges helped them feel less isolated and more empowered. Education and understanding, armed with a thirst for knowledge, John's family delved into learning about Alzheimer's disease. They attended educational sessions and seminars offered by healthcare professionals and advocacy organizations. Understanding the disease's progression, potential challenges, and available resources empowered them to make informed decisions. Open communication, John's family knew that clear and compassionate communication was essential. They found ways to adapt their communication style to John's changing needs. Simple language, visual cues, and patients became their allies in maintaining meaningful connections with him. Professional guidance, recognizing the complexity of Alzheimer's, John's family leaned on healthcare professionals for guidance. They collaborated closely with physicians, nurses, social workers, and therapists to develop a comprehensive care plan tailored to John's unique needs. This team approach helped ensure that he received the best possible care. Respite care, to avoid caregiver burnout and maintain their own well-being, John's family explored respite care options. Respite care provided them with much-needed breaks, allowing them to recharge and return to their caregiving roles with renewed energy and compassion. Legal and financial planning, navigating the legal and financial aspects of Alzheimer's care was a crucial step. John's family sought legal advice to establish power of attorney and make decisions about health care and finances in his best interest. End-of-life care discussions, as John's journey with Alzheimer's continued, discussions about end-of-life care became necessary. These conversations, though difficult, allowed John's family to respect his wishes and ensure that his comfort and dignity remained paramount. Chapter 7 is a poignant reminder that the journey of Alzheimer's is one undertaken not by an individual, but by an entire network of caregivers, family members, and friends. It emphasizes that seeking and offering support, education, an understanding is essential for both the person with Alzheimer's and their loved ones. Together, they navigate the intricate terrain of Alzheimer's, finding strength in unity and solace in shared experiences. In the end, as the final chapters of John's life story unfolded, his family's love and commitment shone brightly through the darkest moments of Alzheimer's disease. 
their unwavering dedication to his well-being, comfort, and happiness served as a testament to the enduring power of love and support in the face of adversity. Comfort and familiarity John's family worked tirelessly to ensure that he remained in an environment that felt familiar and comforting. They filled his living spaces with cherished photos, mementos, and familiar objects that held sentimental value. These touches provided a sense of continuity and connection to his past. Embracing moments of clarity, even as Alzheimer's clouded John's memory and cognition, his family learned to cherish the moments of clarity and connection that would occasionally emerge. These moments, however brief, reaffirmed their bond and reminded them of the man John once was. Quality of life, John's family made every effort to prioritize his quality of life. They focused on activities that brought him joy and comfort, whether it was listening to his favorite music, sharing a beloved meal, or simply holding his hand and providing reassurance. Patience and compassion, Alzheimer's often brought challenges and frustrations, but John's family approached each obstacle with patience and compassion. They understood that the disease was not his fault and that their support and love were his greatest sources of comfort. Celebrating milestones, every milestone, no matter how small, was celebrated as a triumph. Whether it was a smile, a word of recognition, or a shared moment of laughter, these moments of joy were cherished as precious gifts. In their journey with Alzheimer's, John's family discovered that love was not diminished by the disease, rather, it grew stronger, more profound, and more enduring. They learned that their actions, their words, and their unwavering presence held immeasurable value to John even when he could no longer express it in conventional ways. Ultimately, they found that even in the face of this challenging condition, their love and support made a significant difference in John's life. Their dedication to his well-being and their commitment to preserving his dignity and sense of self were the truest expressions of love, transcending the boundaries imposed by Alzheimer's disease. In the end, John's family's journey was a testament to the enduring power of love, reminding us all that in the midst of life's most formidable challenges, it is the strength of the human spirit and the bonds of love that sustain us and illuminate the path forward.